Hello, Happy New Year. Welcome to Art Basics 101. Today will be an interesting day where we will be start learning how to sketch. Sketching or drawing is nothing but making lines and shapes on a piece of paper and refining them until you get your final results. Sketching is really an idea on a piece of paper, so don't worry about making mistakes. Just keep exploring. So, how to sketch? First of all, always keep a sketchbook and a pencil or two handy. To begin with, <clears throat> one thing to remember is you do not want to sketch heavily. So, I'm going to use a pencil... Um, probably an H or a B for uh, light sketching. You don't want to be making heavy lines, uh, just want to be loose lines and light lines. So for example, if I'm making a, uh, a square, I want to be very, very light on my on my hand. I don't want to make, uh, make dark lines. As well as they can be very loose. Don't worry about don't worry about refining them right now or uh, trying to make them absolutely perfect because nobody's perfect and it will not be perfect uh, in the beginning. Uh, so I'm just going to make a 3D uh, box over here just to show you. My box, it does not again have uh, very straight lines or anything, but I know that I will be refining them. Uh, as I go along. It's okay if the lines are not perfect, straight, etc. Sketching is meant to be not perfect. Now, initially, of course. Think big picture, uh, such as size, shape, angle, etc. Instead of perfecting your lines. So, for example, making a square, think about how big of a rectangle you want to make. Think about how big of a of a triangle you want to make. Think about the angles. If I'm making uh, a triangle, do I need a 90 degree angle? Do I need a perfect triangle? Or do I need a triangle that is something like this, where this angle is short versus this is a larger angle and this is the uh, largest angle of all three? Always remember, sketch loosely, then refine, refine, until you can define. So you want to refine and refine and keep refining until you can finally define a shape. So just looking at a simple circle, I'm going to make a circle, very loose. It's not a perfect circle again, but I'm going to keep refining it. I'm going to keep, keep refining it. Keep drawing the lines on top of each other. And at the very end, you can uh, you can see that now I have darker lines because I'm uh, drawing or sketching over and over again on the same line. What's going to happen if you do uh, if you do make dark lines? For example, if I'm going to make very loose line here, and I'm going to make a very dark line right here. If I make a mistake, which is what you will do, of course, initially when you're sketching, and if you want to erase it. You can erase this very easily. Now, no uh, no spots where the line was. If you want to erase this one, you can still see the lines. And this will not be perfect. So always remember, you want to, you want to sketch with a very light hand and then refine your shape by uh, drawing over and over on the same line. Now, let's draw some more examples here. Uh, first, we're gonna draw a mug. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a very generic, uh, generic sketch here of a mug. Mug has, what, an oval shape on the top, and then there is a rectangle with the curves on the bottom. So there is a rectangle, and we're gonna make some curves here. And then there is a there is a handle that looks like an ear, so we're gonna make an ear like that with a handle. Very easy. Now this is a very light. Now what you want to do is keep refining it. Keep refining. Keep drawing over and over again as I showed you 
uh, in the above uh, above picture for that circle. And finally, now you can see that there is an oval. Now this one, you want to keep drawing on the same lines, but make sure now you want to make sure that there is a curve here. So. And finally, now you can see that there is a rectangular with the two curves on the bottom. And now ears, or the handle, and there's your painting or a sketch of your mug. Now you can actually do a 3D, <coughs> excuse me, or uh, this is more of a 2D where this is just a sketch on, on it. Now you can actually go into detail and uh, make it look like it's a, it's a 3D mug by refining your lines, making lines and sides, uh, give it some, uh, some shading to your picture and it will look much better. Second one is an eye. So let's draw an eye. Uh, I, what shape is an eye? Well, it's more of like an oval shape. So we're going to draw an oval shape. Okay. If someone tells me what that is, that's an oval shape. It's not really an eye. But then you can refine your eye by giving it some shape. So an oval with two angles on the other side. Now think big picture again. There's two angles on the side of the eye. So when you're making two angles, right there and right there and then there is a retina in here so you're gonna make a circle you're gonna make a very very loose circle and now this is an oval shape inside a circle so now we're gonna refine the circle until you can define that it is a an absolutely perfectly made circle that looks like a retina and you can actually erase off the parts that's outside, uh, which was which you had created for your reference an oval shape, so you have an idea of how big the eye will uh, would be. And there you go. You have a a very loose, non-detailed sketch of an eye. Same thing goes for the lips. Lips, two ovals, one and two. That looks like two oval shapes to me and nothing else but i know the size i know the shape i know how big or the or how wide the top lip is going to be i know how big or wide the bottom lip is going to be so now you can make a lip and now you can go ahead and and refine the shape of a lip from an oval shape so that you can define it at the very end. I know it starts from here and I know how wide it's going to be because I do have my reference oval on the bottom and there you go. And you're still going to draw very loosely until you can finally define that it looks like a lip. I will uh, show you in my next video how to define shapes and see shapes differently in different fig uh, figures to draw. For example, uh, looking at a different perspective of a, of, a, of a sketch. For example, this is 2D versus this is 3D. How big or how wide things are supposed to be um, when you're sketching or drawing. Now you know how to sketch. So go ahead and practice a few things on your own. Uh, for the lesson, go ahead and practice making a fork, an apple, a banana, a hat, key, tree, flower, car, a guitar. And when you start to get the idea of making these kind of sketches, you can start exploring much more, such as trying to make uh, human figures, such as person jumping, sitting, 
standing, a cat, a dog, etc., which will require more of uh, size and shape geometry or um, the more of a 3D painting, uh, 3D sketches, I'm sorry. But for now, you can go ahead and do the 2D um, artwork for that. Please look in the description for the lessons I just uh, went over so you know which ones, um, uh, which ones to practice for. That's uh, that's all I have for today uh, for all of you guys on my Art Basic 101 for how to sketch. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to comment uh, or send me an email. My email is provided in the description as well. And uh, if you do like the video, please go ahead and subscribe the video and share it with the other creative minds so that uh, they know how to... Uh, how to uh, sketch and uh, go above and beyond with the artwork. Once again, thank you for watching the video today. I'll see you in my next video.